Shokai, Kancho Shokai Matsui, the leader of the major Kyokushin organization today. There are several, but I am talking about the leader of the main Kyokushin Karate organization today. Shokai Matsui was the greatest technician Master Tatsuyama ever, ever taught. Okay? And most people, by the way, I just want to throw it in, just want to kind of show off my knowledge. Most people don't know that Shokai Matsui, like Masoyama, wasn't even Japanese. They're Korean. They're both Korean. So, here's the thing. I'm going to say in this video, I'm going to talk about in this video another legacy that nobody wants to talk about. While we're on the issue of karate, I'm going to talk about an issue. Only a man who's been training as long as me knows things like this. We're going to talk about Dutch kickboxing. The kickboxing at Raymond Decker's, right? Bob Kamen, Tyrone Spong, Bader Hardy, Remy Bonjanski, Nikki Hotskin. We're going to talk about Dutch kickboxing. Okay? Now I'm going to show off my knowledge. Why? Because the guy pissed me off. Here we go. 1964, something happens that changes the face of martial arts. In 1964, Masoyama takes three of his fighters, and I'm this off the top of my head, people, off the top of my head, because I just have that much knowledge. In 1964, Masoyama takes three fighters over to Thailand to face Thai fighters. Now, rumor has it that Masoyama was asked, that he was asked by Shotokan practitioners to take up the challenge uh, from the Muay Thai fighters because Muay Thai fighters had been beaten Shotokan fighters and Goju fighters. Now, I don't know how true that is. There's not a lot on record that Muay Thai fighters fought uh, Goju Ryu fighters or fought Shotokan fighters um, prior to Masoyama going over there. But that's what a re fairly reliable rumor says, that Masoyama, a person that most of these guys didn't even like because they said Masoyama was a gangster because of his association with the Yakuza. Uh, nevertheless, that's another story. That's another talk show for another video. But they did say, listen, man, you're the one who can do it. If you can't do it, no one can. Uh, and basically, uh, the Thai fighters are humiliating us. So Masuyama takes up the, the, the mantle and he decides to take three fighters over to uh, Thailand to fight Thai fighters. Okay? Tatashi Nakamura, Akia Fujihira, and Kenji Kurosaki. So he takes those over, those three guys over, and they fight the movie Thai fighters and they were a rounding success. A rounding success. Tatashi Nakamura knocked out his opponent. Uh, Akio Fuji uh, Fuji uh, Hira knocked out his opponent, uh, but Kenji Kurosaki lost. He lost. He was doing very good, but uh, he was stopped, I believe, by an elbow. Kenji Kurosaki, however, was one of the premier kickers in Kyokushin Karate and was not originally scheduled to even fight the Thai fighters. He really didn't even really train that much. Now, for that particular uh, meeting, um, and I'm not making an excuse for him, however, I'm just saying that he wasn't the original guy that was supposed to go over with the other two. And he was holding, you know, holding his own until the elbow, until he got caught with the elbow. Nevertheless, uh, Kenji Kurosaki fell in love with the idea of using uh, uh, Kyokushin kicks and uh, Western boxing. He fell in love with that idea. When he went back uh, to the dojo, um, he wanted to continue training uh, in his own form of kickboxing, the form of kickboxing that Tatashi Nakamura engaged in and Akio Fujihiro get engaged in, but Masoyama wanted to continue the more traditional way of karate. Eventually, Kenji Kurosaki left uh, Masoyama and opened up his own gym, the Majiro Gym. Opened up the gym called the Majiro Gym. 
and he started teaching what became known as Japanese kickboxing. Follow this. There was a man from Holland by the name of John Blooming. John Blooming was trained personally by Mas Oyama. John Blooming actually was promoted to black belt by Mas Oyama. He didn't have many friends. A lot of people were jealous of John Blooming. He's a white man for and at that time Japanese really didn't like white people to learn uh, their their martial art. So John Blooming didn't associate with a lot of people in Masoyama's dojo, but he did associate with the one Kenji Kurosaki. When Ko Kenji Kurosaki left and started the Majiro Gym, John Blooming remained friends with him. John Blooming subsequently opened a dojo in Holland and he had several students. One of them was uh, the Surinese um, Lucien Carbin, uh, who was black. Uh, and was uh, actually said that he's the first uh, fighter from Holland uh, to beat a Thai fighter. But he also had a man named Han Plaas. Han Plaas, a, a Dutch gangster. He's a member of the Dutch underworld, right? Now, Han Plaas got a black belt under John Bloom. Eventually, as a black belt, he wanted to go train like Blooming did. He wanted to go train with Masoyama. Uh, Masoyama, for some reason, was not in the dojo. Uh, and he was told, Han Plaz was told, that Masoyama would not teach him. Rather than wait around for Masoyama to come back from wherever he was, um, he started wandering around the area and he found the Majiro Gym that was opened by Kenji Kurosaki. Han Plaz starts training with Kenji Kurosaki in Japanese kickboxing, which was actually a blend of Kyokushin kicks and Western boxing. The body punches of Japanese kickboxing actually come from Kyokushin Karate. Now, if you look at any any videos on black belt Kyokushin fighting, in particularly that that took place before the 1990s, you will see some of the best, most vicious body punching you'll ever see in any martial art. Now, Han Plus, he stays. He stays for wild training with Kenji Kurosaki, learning what was conceived or what was perceived to be Japanese kickboxing as opposed to Muay Thai or Thai kickboxing. Han Plaz eventually goes back to Amsterdam and he opens up a gym and he calls that gym with the blessings of Kurosaki, he calls that gym Mergero Gym. And he opens that up in 1978. He starts teaching kickboxing. And he starts teaching kickboxing to Dutch fighters. Combination of Kyokushin kicks and Western boxing. And the way that he teaches distinguishes his kickboxing method. The kickboxing method he got from Japan, from Kenji Kurosaki, a former student of Masoyama. He is teaching it in a distinctive way. He doesn't teach it necessarily like it's taught, like kickboxing is taught in Thailand. He teaches his kickboxing through a series of well-developed drills done over and over and over and over that emphasize strong punching and heavy leg kicks and very little else. Very few teeps, almost no teeps, and only the most rudimentary clinch, if any clinch at all. Something starts to happen. These kickboxers in Holland are beating a great deal of people. A great deal of people, but they don't really have the outlet that they want. Finally, finally the outlet comes to pass. The outlet comes to pass because in 1993, an organization called the K-1 organization is founded by Katsuyoshi Ishii, 
And who is Kazuyoshi Ishii? He is a former Kyoko Shin Karate fighter. That's right. He forms the K1 organization not so he can showcase Muay Thai fighters, but so he can showcase Kyoko Shin fighters and Saito Khan fighters against other kickboxers, namely Muay Thai fighters. In the beginning, all of the contest, at least most of the contest, are heavyweights. And that's good. Because now that gives people like Tyrone Spong, Ernesto Hoops, um, uh, Francisco, Francesco Fieldho, Andy Hug. This gives now the big Kyokushin fighters and the Sidokan fighters and the Dutch fighters the ability to show off their techniques. Eventually, Ushi, uh, Ishii starts another organization, or it's the same organization, but this becomes K1 Max. Now you have different people, you have different sizes, you have different weight classes, and now this rush of Dutch kickboxers now comes into the K1 organization, and people get to know what Dutch kickboxing actually is. But what they don't know when they're looking at Raymond Deckers, what they don't know when, they, when they're looking at Rob Kamen, what they don't know when they're looking at Ernesto Hoos, what they don't know when they're looking at Tyrone Spong, Bader Hardy, <laughs> Nikki Hotskin, what they don't know is what they are looking at. It's something that people call Dutch kickboxing, but in actuality is a blend of karate, Kyoko Shin karate and Western boxing. To be clear, in case you didn't hear me, Dutch kickboxing is actually Japanese kickboxing, which actually is Kyoko Shin Karate with gloves. That's what Dutch kickboxing is. That's right. Raymond Deckers does Kyoko Shin Karate with gloves. And this is how Dutch kickboxing has dominated in K1 and has dominated, has helped, helped to make a name for themselves in Thailand. Because they use heavy Kyoko Shin kicks and Kyoko Shin punches to the body mixed with Western punches to the head. The unique development of those techniques were mastered and were developed and honed by people like Han Plaz, people like uh, uh, Lucien Carbin, and other great trainers in Holland, in the Netherlands, by those skills were honed by the constant use, the constant drilling over and over and over and over of three and four and five and six punch, kick, alternating punch kick combinations done over and over with the idea of overwhelming sometimes the more skillful uh, Muay Thai fighters who were heavy with the clinch but were not as skillful with the kicks and with the punches. So the history actually of Dutch kickboxing is actually the history of Kyoko Shin Karate with gloves. John Blooming is taught by Masoyama. John Blooming opens a dojo in the Netherlands. John Blooming's best friend was Kenji Kurosaki. Was his best friend in Masoyama school. Kurosaki opens up a gym, Majero Gym. A student by the name of Han Plaz was a student of John Blooming. He intends to go to Japan to learn like John Blooming, his teacher, to learn from Masoyama. Han Plaz is told that Masoyama is not there and when he returns he still will not teach him. He then finds the Majiro Gym and starts training with the one and same Kenji Kurosaki. Han Plaz returns back to Netherlands, opens up a gym called the Majiro Gym, a offshoot of the gym of Kenji Kurosaki, and Han Plaz starts teaching a combination of Kyoko Shin kicks, Kyoko Shin body punches, Western box uh, punches, and he forms the greatest non-Thai kickboxing core uh, development farm in the world. People call it Dutch kickboxing. 
The origin of Dutch kickboxing is Kyoko Shin Karate. That is the origin. That's what I know from having been there and 50 years in the martial arts. My name is Safe Carmen, the walking encyclopedia of martial arts. Whoo! Now I can calm down. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.